thing is, there's plenty of nice houses out there, but that's not the question. The question is, how do we get started? When you're buying a house, we don't know. We're first time home buyers, so we don't know how to get started okay, forever. Wait a minute. I'm gonna call you back. I don't know who she is. I'm just gonna call you back. Financial woman is here to save the day. I'm a first time home buyer and I'm really stressed out because I just don't know where to start with buying a home. Can you help me, financial woman? Yes, I can. They don't call me financial woman for nothing. You can go to Financial Central Recipe. Okay. Thank you, financial woman. You're welcome. You know I can still see you, right? Hi, I'm Ricky. Financial woman told me to come here and then you can solve my problem. Hi, Ricky. My name is Marilyn Rivera. Welcome to Financial Central Recipe. Please, come on in. Well, I was walking down the street and I was getting really frustrated because I know there's a, there's a lot of houses to choose from, but I really just didn't know which direction to go, what, what avenue to take as far as how to go about buying a home. So I called my wife up, let her know how stressed out I was about the whole process, and then having the conversation, I was walking and this lady jumps out the tree, financial woman, and she said to come here because that you could solve all my problems. Is that something that you could help me with? Well, yes, you're definitely in the right place. Um, I just have a couple of questions for you so that I can figure out how we can help you. Okay. Um, have you gone to any financial institutions for some help um, with mortgages, financing, any type? I have, and they've all turned me down. Oh. What's the reason for the turn down? They don't like my credit. They say my credit's not that good. Your credit's not that good, so did they tell you what your FICO score is? Like, what's the reason for you believing you have bad credit? Yeah, they told me my FICO score, they, they told me that I had excessive obligations, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. I, I didn't really want to read it too much, but they just said I couldn't get approved. Okay, so you know what your FICO score is? Uh, yeah, it's about, it's about 600. 600, okay. We, we work with people who have um, bad credit as well. And um, do you have any open collections, judgments? I'm sure I do. Last time I checked, it wasn't that good. I'm, I don't know. Okay. So um, what kind of collections do you have open? Well, I, I had some credit cards, um, mostly credit card debt. Credit card debt? Yeah. And what was the reason for falling behind on the debt? Just, the, I got a couple kids and... You know, you get to swiping sometimes, and it just adds up, adds up, swipe, 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 and next thing I knew, I owe a couple thousand dollars. I couldn't really keep up the payments because the payments were getting high, okay. and the bills were just stacking up. Okay. Um, and um, as far as medical collections, do you have any medical collections or judgments that, that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of. I'm, I'm always getting phone calls from different places that I owe money, but I, I don't know. Okay. And... Um, what, what type of uh, financing um, were you looking to apply for? Because with that type of credit, it appears that the only type of credit we would be able to approve you for would be FHA. <clears throat> we may have to do some credit repair, though, because of the fact that um, you have a 600 FICO score. Although we could work with the 600 FICO score, if you have any open collections, we would have to help you, you know, negotiate some settlements possibly so that you can pay less instead of paying the full balance. Oh, um, yes, wow. yes, we will be able to assist you with that. And then um, we would have to get your income so that we could figure out what your ratios are and run your credit report. And we'll give you a little bit more in depth as to why you have bad credit because it seems to me like you don't understand what credit really is and what it could do for you. So yeah, I guess you're right. Um, that's the reason why we would go that route. Um, there are a variety of programs available out there. Okay. Um, you have FHA, you have conventional, you have VA loans. 
Um, are you a veteran by any chance? I'm not. You're not a veteran. Okay. The reason why I asked if you was a veteran was because with as a veteran, even though you have bad credit, you can still qualify for 100% financing. Oh, wow. So you can okay. actually buy with no money. Oh, wow. And um, so that's the reason why I brought that up. Um, the conventionals for 620 and up and the FICO scores, so that's why I was asking you if you had an idea as to what oh, your FICO score was. Okay. And then the FHA, fortunately enough, they can go as low as 580 FICO score and all you put down is 3.5% for the down payment. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds doable. I mean, three. And a, I thought I had to put down 20%. That's what I always heard, but 3.5%. Pretty sure we can swing that. You can swing that, okay. Well, the, the FHA programs um, actually have uh, what they call mortgage insurance, which is the PMI. And the PMI uh, for FHA loans, um, as of March of 2013, has become uh, for the life of the loan, meaning that it doesn't get eliminated once it goes to an 80% loan to value. So the life of the loan means if you get a loan for 30 years, you're mm -hmm. going to carry the PMI for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And what the PMI does is it protects the lender and it protects the borrowers who are borrowing the funds. PMI is? PMI is the mortgage insurance, which ensures the lender that the government will back that loan. Oh, okay. So, Ricky, do you have any further questions for me? No, I mean, I, I didn't realize that I had so many options that could that could help me buy a home. But no, no other questions. No other questions, okay. And um, are you feeling hungry? Because I'm feeling kind of hungry. Well, you know, knowing that I have a real chance at being able to get a mortgage and be able to get a home, I've built up a pretty good appetite. So yeah, I could eat. And I'm so proud to be able to help you. And at Financial Central Recipe, we have chefs, and we will go into the kitchen to see what they're cooking up for us. All right, let's eat. Let's do it.
smell good in here? Can you guys please tell us what you have cooking up in here? I'm glad you asked, Marilyn, because I know all this talk about mortgages and finance can be a bit stressful. And when you're stressed, you just want to eat. So I say if you're going to eat, why not eat healthy? So today, me and Chef Neil prepared some healthy dishes for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy. First dish we have here is sauteed chicken with vegetables. And the next one we have is salmon with green peas and lemon sauce. Wow! This tastes really good! You guys can really cook. Thank you! Boy, it sure does feel good to eat healthy. Let's taste this. Mmm, very good! financing, we talked about conventional financing, and we also discussed VA financing. Um, I wanted to take out the time to thank everyone for their participation in our show today. I wanted to first thank the camera crew, I wanted to thank Ricky, our, our guest, and I wanted to thank Sh Chefs Neil and Nathan for cooking up the healthy meal for us today which we will be uh, enjoying in a few minutes. I also wanted to let the audience know that I wanted to thank them for watching us. And if they have any questions or uh, issues that they're encountering, if they could give us a call at 201-880-1296. 201-880-1296. Or they can email us at Aquarius LLC at gmail.com. Thanks once again. Enjoy.